Okay guys, we got a 2013 Kia Ford. Most likely sometime you're gonna break one of your lights, headlights. So 2013 Kia Ford, customer when I got me a light. This is one of the easiest job I've ever done. I had done the whole job, then I took it all apart. So we got two 10 millimeters. One is over here. And the other one is right over here. So pretty much one, two, and after that, if you need to take off the bumper, there's a screw back here, and you just grab this and yank it, it's like clips here, they just pop right off. But check this out, this light was the, one of the easiest light that I removed. This guy just comes off, and it just comes forward. So this side is where I'm gonna have to manage a little bit. And, whoa, there you go. So in the back, all you got is this little guy, and this little guy right here that goes in here, which is already broken. All that stuff is broken. So we got one connector back here that we could have had just reached from back here and remove it. So the reverse procedure will be the other way around. So pretty much if you want to put a little bit of glue, you could do that, but this is going to hold the light. So what you want to do is you want to grab your new light and you want to take this baby and bring it to the spot right where it belongs. This is, like I said, one of the easiest lights I ever done. And it just snaps right in. That's how simple that is. Uh, you're going to take your 10 millimeter bolt and your 10 millimeter bolt. Make sure everything is perfectly the way it's supposed to be. And you want to lock up your headlight right where you like it. Bada bing. Bada boom. Do not forget the connector. And after that, test all your lights. But if you want to check your balls, if they're working, you can do. But anyways, that's how simple that is. Took me two minutes, under two minutes, to replace this headlight. Anyways, uh, it's the same procedure on the opposite side. And if you do need to push the retainers, they're like right here, okay? You can see them from back here. You just need to push the tab and the thing just come out. Anyways, thank you for watching my video, guys. All you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket and a bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching my video.